Hi, this is Eli Kranzberg, and welcome to this series on Seventh Heaven Reverb from Liquid Sonics. Now, in this series, we're going to look at both Seventh Heaven and Seventh Heaven Professional. And in both cases, these reverbs feature Liquid Sonics Fusion IR technology, which is basically a modulated convolution based capture and reproduction technology that was developed by them specifically for creating convolution reverbs based on the Bricasti M7 hardware unit. And that's where we get the name Seventh Heaven from the M7. This is the definitive Seventh Heaven emulation and it faithfully captures all three of the main components of the Bricasti M7, the early reflections, the late reflections, and their unique, very low frequency reverb or VLF components. Now, this is the basic view of Seventh Heaven that we're looking at, but we have some advanced controls that we get to from this menu here. We can open and close it. And let's start with the basics. Now, we have the gear menu icon, and here we have some settings. We can set what we want the initial preset to be when we open it up, and this is the default, but we can change it. And when we're going through different presets, we can optionally lock any or all of these parameters so that they maintain their values as we're changing presets. We also have low cut and high cut EQ on here, two band filtering. We can automatically enable it. And we also can modify the location of the files. So let's just call this up and see where the files are located. On the root level of the hard drive in the library folder, application support, Liquid Sonics, Seventh Heaven, and then data. And from this menu, we can select a new location. So if you copy and move it on your own in the finder, you can select the new location revert to the default location and we can open up the finder to show us where it is. So that's the pathway we just saw where we're going from hard drive, library, application support, seventh heaven, data, and then there are the different presets. Now also under the gear icon, we have some interface settings. We can keep the advanced controls hidden on boot up, which is the default, or they can be open when we call it the plugin and we can scale the interface at different sizes if we want. Now here we can turn on interactive assistance. So when you hover your mouse over any control, you'll get a little pop-up tag. I'm going to leave it off for the moment. And we can also access the online manual and learn more about 7th Heaven. Now for the presets, we click over here and we get our different categories with our different selections of different impulse responses under each category. And we can also increase or decrease the time, the decay time with these stepper arrows. And we can also just use our mouse wheel. So for example, here it is on a little vocal. So I can make it longer. Now in 7th Heaven, we have what are called version 1 presets that are from the original M7 algorithm. And in the 7th Heaven Professional, which we'll look at in the next video, we also have version 2 presets, which is a newer algorithm that has additional tail modulation and brighter roll-off filters. And those presets have a 2 at the end of them. But for now, we just see the regular presets with no numbers. Now, to save your own presets, we simply click this button and it'll open up the Finder window and bring us to the appropriate location, which is in your user folder in Library Application Support. And then in there, Liquid Sonics, Seventh Heaven, and then user presets, then you can name it. And then once they're in there, when we click the load button, it'll appear here, or we can load from the finder here. And we can also call up the finder window to view them directly. Now we have the mix control, which controls the dry wet mix, pretty obvious. And we have the different presets we can step through with this knob and it goes through the different variations. And they're basically the same as you get to from here, it's just a different way of stepping through them. We have an overall gain output, which is self-explanatory, and that's the basic interface. Now we get some additional controls here. We have pre-delay, which like the M7 hardware unit, affects only the late reverb and the very low frequency reverb components. It leaves the early reflections alone, which is great. So for example, on this vocal, I can separate the onset of the reverb from the vocal by dialing this up. Let's make this longer. Do, just let me do what I want, yeah. 
And we can optionally sync it to tempo so I can make it, let's say, an even 16th note later, for example. Nobody have to tell me what I have to do, just let me. I think in a case like this, I would just have a very little bit. Nobody have to tell me. That'll blend in nicely with the music. Do, just let me do what I want. Now, the delay control is for the late reverb portion only. So... It's adding a delay to the reverb by feeding a delayed copy of the dry signal back into the late reverb line at a specified time interval that we dial in here. And this can also optionally be tempo synced. So in this example, if I dial it up high, we'll hear a very pronounced delay in the reverb. Nobody have to tell me what I have to do. Just let me do. Which is very interesting and synced to tempo. Maybe something like a dotted eighth. Nobody have to tell me. What I longer. Do, just let me do what I want, yeah. so it really makes for a nice, dense yeah. quality by creating a delay within the reverb. Be so boring. Let me be myself. I love it. Now, we optionally have some filtering. We can turn on or off with these buttons, and they're, again, fairly self-explanatory. It's just a roll-off to make it thinner like that. What I have to do, just let me or leave more low-end in. Yeah. And same thing here, can cut the high end. Or leave it wide open for more high end. Oh, hey. Now here, the very low frequency is interesting. The M7 has this control that provides a fullness and body to the reverb by boosting up to around 200 hertz. Normally, we think of rolling off low end on reverb, but this really generates some warmth. Come a little closer if you want to see How is everybody dancing now around me? I don't care you oh, It's just a nice thickness I don't care you And we can focus on the earlier reflections Come a little closer if you want to see How is everybody dancing now around me? These are the initial reflections off the virtual wall so we can get a kind of closer effect by focusing on the early reflections or more of the tail. And we really hear the delay there. But a blend of both often works nicely. So that's the basic interface for 7th Heaven. Next video, we'll look at the additional features found in the professional version.